Hey guys, I'm John B. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, geeks are sexy. Apple's Find My Phone vulnerability. A real life Robocop. Fish operated vehicles. And how Sprint royally screwed Geek Beat. Here in a minute, it all starts now. <laughs> I can't believe you actually read the script that I wrote for you. I did. I didn't think you were going to do it. <laughs> I thought you were going to just like totally make something else up. That's all right. Well, I, I I will be as as promised ranting here in a bit. But yeah, I told you guys that I thought there was a rant coming on today from Callie, not from me. And That's we'll a new see. one, isn't we'll it? We'll see how that goes. Well, uh, well, why don't we just get started anyway? I mean, it's 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 Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's, everybody! Happy but Valentine's screw everybody. that because <laughs> because we got screwed. All right, so here's what happened. The was it yesterday? Two days ago? Something this week? A couple days ago. We had an encounter with Clear, actually. So I don't know if you guys know, but Clear is owned in full by Sprint now. Um, so they used to kind of operate separately, and now you can't even buy anything from Clear. They are fully kind of under Integrated. Sprint's wing. So we had uh, two hotspots and a router from Clear, now, which we got like three years ago. Yeah, originally we had three. We had, we had a, a router and two travel routers, right? And... Um, we bought them to use at home and on the go. Yes. Now, just as a little background, what happened was the little travel routers, we found that, you know, we travel a lot. We could never use them. They didn't work anywhere. No, okay? not, so, not at our homes, not at, while we were on the road, in fact, nowhere. In fact, the only place any of these things would work was right here at the studio, which and they worked awesome. <laughs> we had plenty of internet here at but the we studio. Didn't need <laughs> so what happened was... We, uh, uh, more than a year ago, called in to get rid of the two little ones, but we were going to keep the one big one because we're using it here in the studio just as a backup failover internet connection if the primary goes down. Right, so a couple months ago, I called Clear, so we decided we just don't need the hotspots. We'll just get rid of those. And I talked to them, and they said, you know what? You have a package deal, kind of a bundle deal. If you break that apart... Well, thing, things are going to get It'll, a little bit more expensive gets, for yeah. you. So, and, and by the way, it wasn't a couple months ago. It was 14 months ago. Oh, it was 14 months yes, ago. Yes, because I have a, a you, you have go the ahead and and then I'm going to tell you the other side of the story. <laughs> I'm going to give you Sprint's side of the story, but you go ahead. So I called and they said, if you if you break this bundle apart, like you can get rid of one hotspot because that's not in the bundle. And then you can, if you, you want to keep the other one, otherwise you pay more. So we said, fine. And then two and days the, ago. So we kept one of the hotspots, although it has not been turned on in like a year. Okay. On. And the other one, again, is only backup. It's It's got zero traffic right. going down it. Go ahead. So we get rid of that. We have the hotspot and the router, and we get a notice two days ago saying, hey, you pay, basically we pay $45 a month for both of them. Uh, now you're going to be paying $45 per device, like just an increase, double the payment. Just bam. Like, wow. Double your price. And Seriously? we're like, what the heck? Like, no, okay, uh, increases, I understand. That happens all the time. I totally get that. But double, like from 45 and double that. Wow. Yeah. Hi, hope you enjoyed your clear. Now we're sprint. Double the cost. So then I call and I say, get rid of the hotspot because we're not even using it, so I'll just pay the $45. And she said, no, now you're going to pay $50 if you get rid of the hotspot. So in other words... <laughs> If you keep the other hotspot that you're not even using because it doesn't work anywhere, <laughs> we're going to double your cost. If you get rid of the one that doesn't work anywhere and just keep the one, we're still going to raise your cost by five bucks. Seriously, people. So, customer first. So, <laughs> we sent an email to their PR department asking for an explanation. And they really, what happened was while I was on the phone, literally screaming and yelling at Clear, I never do that. Yeah. 
He they was emailing her, PR. <laughs> yeah, they got her wild, riled up. They did. So I emailed the PR guys and I said, hey, um, what's the deal with this price increase slash weird thing going on? We've, you know, uh, and I didn't say it was us, but I didn't say it wasn't us. I said, this is what we this understand what we to understand be occurring. And we'll be reporting Please on. Telling us, tell us what your story is. And they came back and told us factually, here's what happened. You had ordered, you know, three. Um, it was part of a bundled price in September of 2013. You canceled one of them. And now we're, we're, you're, you don't have that bundle anymore. So we're just going to charge you for, not you, we're charging them right. for two of them. And I said, and I went back and said, by the way, the them is us. And that doesn't make sense because uh, if you had, if we had canceled one and it was over a year ago, why would you now be changing the price? Right. So anyway, that's the rant. <sighs> and that's the story behind it. And apparently, we think it's unfair. And we want to know, did you, yeah. today's fame spot of the day is, <laughs> did you have clear? And if so, what happened when Sprint bought them? Right. That's the fame spot of Go the day. Go to eP.tv slash fame spot and leave us a message, a video message. We'll play it over you here. You only have 15 seconds to rant though. Yeah, <laughs> not our five minutes. But we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> You feel better now? You've had a little bit of a break, time for a breather? I think I'm good now. Okay, good. I, had, I, I drank almost all of my party from Verve. <laughs> I think I'm good now. We can get you some more. <laughs> we can go to vervegeek.com and get you some more. But in the meantime, <laughs> we do have some good news to share with you guys today because Dale Chase yes. released his new rap album. It's called Love plus plus. Yes, it is awesome. Dale is is a such first of all such a nice, super great guy. Yeah. Uh, on top for, of that, for a gangsta. <laughs> on top of that, he's super talented when it comes to rapping. He is, and he wrote a way better than you, John. I'm sorry. No, oh, I'm really sorry. We'll have to have but... a wrap off. <laughs> also, he wrote a song called "Geeks <laughs> Are Sexy." Yes, and which actually. They are includes an homage to our very own sexy geek, <laughs> Callie Lewis. Dave, can we hear a little Oh, we bit? have it? We have a little a little excerpt from, oh. from the song. Here now is Dale Chase, Geeks Are Sexy. Catch me in Texas, cause I'm going back to Cali. Always have me a geek to your beat. I keep it live till you stream it won't be brief But we can do it your way Like what better way to have it When I talk with my hands and unbox the gadgets I know I get a favorable review You got me feeling zero gravity Now, here's what's impressive I want Isn't you that how you're supposed to dance to rap? Do we have the, can we put some of the lyrics up on the screen? <laughs> he just well, had them I can't read and listen at the same time, Dave <laughs> I only really did the ones for that one part Never mind, here's the thing, okay? For those of you who've been watching for a long time, it is amazing how many references he built into those lyrics. So I've Dale got, has actually been watching, I think since 2007 or something. Yeah, a long time. Okay, so I'm just gonna read a few of the first lyrics here. Uh, tech in a T, shiny and happy. So we've got her T-shirts, because right. she's always wearing a T, and then the shiny, happy tech news. Catch me in Texas. We live in Texas. Because I'm going back to Cali. That's my name. Always had me a geek to your beat. Geek beat. I keep it live till you stream. We are live on you stream. <laughs> Won't be brief. Geek brief. I mean, we could go on, okay? That's just like the very, that's like two sentences. That's like two sentences. It is yeah. amazing. So uh, good job wow. there, Dale. That's awesome. And you guys. He and did. I mean, he's got it all in there. Angels, everything. So uh, you guys can actually decide what you want to pay for the album. It's like yep. a, it's like a name, pay, your, own name your own price thing. So go we support bought it. him. He's awesome. We did buy it. Show notes. All right. They're at uh, geekbeat.tv forward slash live 125. I like that one. It's rhymes. Yeah, it's live nice. Live 125. Sounds good. You can make a rap out of that. I'm I think. going to. <laughs> All right, so um, in other news. In real news. Comcast 
and Time Warner Ooh. are merging. Ooh. Actually, well, not really merging. No, Comcast, Comcast is, is buying actually them. buying Time Warner. All right, we don't These even are- need to talk about any. That's it. That's all you need. You, you don't get any news about this. You get the rant. Okay. <laughs> and your rant this time, right? Holy bleep! <laughs> The, two of the biggest cable companies in the country are going to get all together in one bed? Forget it, people. If the FCC doesn't negate this thing, we are all screwed. This will not lower your prices. It, will, it is guaranteed to raise your prices. It is a monopolistic, anti-competitive threat to America. People. Just a couple of weeks ago, wow. we got the net neutrality news, and then this yeah. happened. First, I, net neutrality gets struck down. Then the ca- cable operators are going to team up. Your prices are going to double. Your internet speeds are going to get cut in half, and they're going to buy bigger corporate jets. I have just been <sighs> schooled in how to rant. On wow, with the next news. Sean. But on the other hand, Verizon, <laughs> Verizon is actually being nice. Yes, they launched their more everything plan. So um, actually, if you're already an existing customer, like 40 50 or $60 plans, they're going to increase your data allowance. You get more junk, people. Yay! You know why they're doing that. That's the wrong asset, John, Dave. Yeah. Uh, okay, that is not the <laughs> asset, Dave. <laughs> uh, yes, that would be better. Okay. Uh, I think. Here's the deal. T-Mobile has been doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and I'm telling you, they've been cutting into Verizon Wireless and AT&T Wireless and all those guys. Definitely. And so these are the responses. We're seeing responses come back. Verizon's now saying, oh, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. No need to leave Verizon. You want more? We'll give you more. Yeah, so uh, if you This is why Verizon- Time Warner and Comcast should not be allowed to merge people because as soon as you let all those big ass companies get together, they don't have any com- competitive threat from one another and the prices just go up. If I was the CEO of Comcast, the day that Time Warner was acquired by Comcast, I would raise the rates by 20% that day. And I would say, you know what? You want to leave? Go ahead. Where are you going to go? Clear. I am just in awe. Sorry, go ahead. What's that, the next news story of the day? That was good ranting. <laughs> All right, now you can pull up that asset, John. I mean, Dave, whatever your name is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so AT&T has a budget uh, kind of division, a prepaid division called AIO. AIO, I don't know how you say it. Um, and I they thought were AIO using... stood for all-in-one. Sure I don't know. You sure yeah, that's not okay. from Sony? That's their laptop division. Right. Yeah, it's missing the V. See, they're using this like magenta color. That is very, oh, very I thought that was T-Mobile. similar to T-Mobile's color. So uh, a judge, Judge Lee Russenthal uh, from the Federal Southern District of Texas decided, you guys got to cut this out because you're creating confusion yeah, in the brain confusion. Well, the funny thing is AT&T's own yeah. focus groups were confused into thinking this was coming from T-Mobile. Yeah, well, it makes perfect sense. It looks like it is. So now they have to stop using that color. You know why they have to stop using that color? Because, because the they're judge. trying to make sure there's enough competition in the market <laughs> so that the consumers don't get screwed. That's why. Yes. Because they're two big, different companies that aren't together. All right, we're gonna let John now take a break, maybe have some tea, some party as opposed to the bold, <laughs> and uh, calm down. Before we go, make sure you head on over to geekbeat.tv slash fame spot. I don't remember the fame press question of the day. Let us know if you got screwed oh, by ranting. Clear, really. I mean, did Clear That's do right. you wrong or did go they do you right? Go out rant John now. Yeah, do it. We have a QNAP in the network. Yes. Do you know what model it is? I think we have the a, the TS470 or the 670. 470. We have the 470 Pro. TS470 Pro in yes. the network. It's sitting right over there. It's over there. Right over there. It's got all the assets on it. Right. For the show. And it also has over 100 apps that you can do all sorts of really cool stuff with. It does have. Did you notice that they just announced a brand new app? Not, I did not see that. Not today, but yesterday they announced a brand new app. The app is called 
Uh, what's it called? Flappy Bird. It's not <laughs> it's the Flappy, Flappy Bird, Bird app, although I'm, Flappy Bird coming to you I'm working QNAP. on a Flappy Bird QNAP <laughs> app. Um, it's called... <laughs> what does it do? Di like Display Station or something. Oh. What it is, let's say you were running, I don't know, let's say you were running a restaurant. We do here at Livid Lobster. Yeah, with Livid Lobster. Let's say you had a restaurant and you wanted to put TV monitors instead of having your your uh, menu printed out and you know right. like painted on the wall where you can't change it let's uh -huh. say you use monitors yeah. and you design your menu and put it on the monitors uh -huh. like at the chinese restaurant we do yeah like at the china like at payway or Pei something Wei, like yeah. that well what you would normally have to do is you'd put up those monitors and then you would have to have a computer on Correct. at all times to display that content on the monitor and of course sometimes those computers are running Windows, and so you walk by, and one of the monitors has like a blue, blue screen of screen stress, death. <laughs> blue screen of death. Like at the airport. Yes. Like at the airport. I love it when it happens at the airport. That's brilliant. The same things happen at the airport. You see this all the time. Or I saw one time there was a bus, and a bus had a, a, a monitor on the back of it <laughs> with blue screen of death on it. That's awesome. So instead, you just run the app through the QNAP system. And it displays it directly from there, and Be you don't have to have a separate computer that's dedicated right. to it. That's right, because the QNAP TS470 has an HDMI output. You can plug a monitor directly into it and drive it out of that. So nice. you're using it as like your server in your network, and you can also use it as, for great. a business. Yeah. You could have it be, you know, like a welcome monitor or a... I, I have a welcome mo monitor whatever. at my home. Do look, John? Oh, do, do you? Do you not? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I like to be yeah, welcomed right home. There? Yeah, look at that. There you go. That's an HDMI output on the uh, box right awesome. there. That's what it looks like. We have a bug in our light. Well, you'll have to ignore it. <laughs> Her rump says look, that he wants a... QNAP, storage made awesome. QNAP.com. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I am John P. And I am Callie Lewis. That's right. It's it's unfortunate that your last name is Lewis. Why is that? Because Callie L doesn't sound as good as John P. You're right. I don't know why, but John and P are meant to go together. She can be Callie P. <laughs> but Think, speaking of things that right are meant either. to go together, <laughs> Geek Beat and Gadgets. Yes. And it, it is, is time gadget to talk time. about new gadgets this week. Yeah, from what we got? LG. They announced their new G Pro 2. Um, in Korea only for now, but we'll get there. Uh, so the Pro 2 has uh, is a 5.9 inch screen. Wow, that's big. Why can't they just call okay, it? Why couldn't it just be six inches? My Note 2 is five and a half. Yeah. Why couldn't it just be six inches? I don't know. Oh, it's probably not? because... If I had a nickel. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't it just be six inches? It's... <laughs> it's 19... Uh, <laughs> I don't 19... know. I'm always asking. Why? Why couldn't it just be... John P. Probably because it's metric, to be honest. I mean, if we were going to be really technical, probably 5.9, it equals out to some metric but we're so stupid we're dumb americans we use this whole imperial system that was imposed upon us by king louis okay. the 18th or something i don't know and uh that's All how right. it came, that's how it came to be so it has a 1920 by 18 i'm sorry by 1080 display uh so it should look really good 2.26 gigahertz quad core snapdragon 800 processor with an adreno 330 gpu that's graphics. good right yeah everything is great so oh, okay. far yeah. <laughs> um, they have a 13.2 megapixel camera on the back. Oh, and this is the one. 13.2, guys. Not only that, it has actual optical image stabilization. Yes. They built that into a, cam That's a awesome. camera phone that, with think, optical image stabilization. Is that the first? No. I don't know I don't of any know. others. No, the iPhone does. No, optical image stabilization. Oh, you know what? I think I remember the iPhone announcing that. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, yeah, well, it's the right. first phone that counts that has it. <laughs> oh, that's going to get you Apple people riled up, isn't it? All right, well, go take It'll a look at that. It'll also shoot 4K if you... video. Nice. So uh, go take a look at that if you're interested. You just go to geekbeat.tv slash live125. Nice. And uh, it will be launched officially and all for, for everybody to see at Mobile World Congress in uh, just uh, about a week or MWC. 
or as we like to call it in the hood, MWC. Anyway, my, on my to Ramsey the next. is calling me uh, Callie G in the Callie chat room. G. Yeah. Cool. Like I fit into this. Whole Ever rap since I was thing. a lowercase G. Uh, the next story involves a weird, strange little bird. This is the tale of Flappy Bird. Isn't he cute? Flappy, Flappy Bird. Bird. Flappy Bird is a game in which all you do is flap <laughs> the bird wings. <laughs> and you try and fly the bird in between these little pipes right. by just flapping the wings. And the way you flap the wings is by like tapping the screen or clicking a mouse, depending on what platform. So all you do, he's like, he's constantly falling, yeah. but when you hit the button, flap. So flap, you gotta flap, flap, like you gotta hit that button really fast to get him higher and higher, but not too fast because you don't want to go past the point anyway. Anyway, it's that's actually, the whole game. That is it. You hit a button and you <laughs> flap a wing and that's it. But this game went crazy, okay? I mean... It, it's been out for almost a year, nine months or something ridiculous. It just got popular All of recently. a sudden, it went through the roof and the developer was like, whoa, some little Vietnamese guy. I don't know. I can't remember his name. Again. He's related to Ken, like his third or fourteenth cousin, okay? But the point is, he was like, wow, this game got way too popular. It's ruining my life. No, well, here's... It may be making $50,000 a day in ad revenue. I don't care. I don't want this game anymore. And he pulled it. First of all, he got upset. He first said that he was going to pull it because people were just giving him a wretched time to saying that he was stealing Mario graphics and all sorts of stuff ah, because you can kind of get the similarity and then everybody was hounding on him for a while and so he was like oh I'm done with this this is too much stress in my life so he pulled it and then after he pulled it he went back and said the reason I pulled it is because too many people were too addicted to this game. It's not a good thing for people to be addicted to games. So, uh, yeah, then, so who knows what the real story is or what he was really thinking. I don't know, but I'll tell you this. From the jaws of victory. Yeah, anyway, I don't know, but I'll tell you this. Last night around midnight, I posted <laughs> this game on the Geek Beat TV website. That's right, folks. You can go to geekbeat.tv forward slash I don't remember. Flappy Bird. Is it Flappy Dash Bird or Flappy Bird? Go to Live 125 right there, and Ben will give you a link. You can play that game to your heart's content. It's there you right. Go. Just go to geekby.tv. It's on there. However, if you have other, um, if you have things that you want to say badly about the game, keep it to yourself, people. Yes. Well, that's what EA thinks, at least. So they have their games, right? The mobile version of Dungeon Keeper. And uh, there's a big uproar about how they've handled reviews on the mobile version. So when you're playing it, you know, it might get a pop-up saying, hey, would you like to review this game or rate it? And if you hit a five-star review or rating, it takes you to the Google Play uh, website where you can leave a positive review about how much you love the game. And if you hit anything other than five, it says, screw you, you can't go there, doesn't it? E no, <laughs> well, oh. pretty much, but it, does, it actually takes you to an email page where you can email the developers or EA uh, as opposed to leave a public comment. Nice. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. That's sneaky. I think you underestimate my sneakiness. <laughs> anyway, here's another little... A, uh, oh, 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 Princess Bride. No, it's not Princess it. Bride. Uh, sneaky, sne I think you underestimate my sneakiness. We got a hand up in there? We got a hand up. Mr. Deeds. Oh, Mr. Deeds. that's why. Okay. That's right. Yeah. All right. I want to change your socks. Never mind. She's never seen the movie. That is creepy, hey, John. Is it the original or Adam Sandler? Oh, that's the Adam Sandler one. Okay. The Adam Sandler Mr. Deeds. Okay, so we've got another story here this one is pretty awesome this is a gadget that GE is working on it's not ready yet but it's in their labs do you know those things called refrigerators yes they make stuff cold I have one wow you are highfalutin well GE is working on changing they're gonna take your refrigerator away from you what I hate GE but they're gonna give you one that's even better I love GE that's right what they're going to do is, right now, your refrigerator has a compressor that has coolant, Freon and stuff going through it, and they compress it and blah, 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 expand it, compress it, it makes it cold. Okay. Well, what they're going to do is, they're going to get rid of that old-fashioned technology and replace it with magnets. I 
Yes, they're going to replace it with magnets because right. they've got a new kind of material. It is called. Uh, it is called uh, nickel manganese. <laughs> nickel manganese, and what happens is they have figured out when they make this kind of tube cooling coil thing out of that, and they place it in a magnetic field, it gets cold or it gets hot. Right. So what they can do is make a tube out of that, stick it in a magnet, pass some current through it, it gets cold, they run coolant through that cold pipe, right. bang, refrigerator, only 20% more efficient. <gasps> Ooh, I love GE. Yeah, GE. No they bring good things to life. <laughs> and with that. Uh, we are going to head to commercial, but we will be back with uh, all sorts of other awesome stuff, plus unboxings coming soon. We have so many boxes to show you. <sighs> we'll be right back. I'm excited. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm Kelly, that's John, and we have a very, very important message for you today. Do not lose your iPhone. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> in fact, make sure you have a lock screen on your iPhone because that is the only thing that's going to save you from getting your lose my iPhone no, thing. No, find my iPhone. So oh. if you do lose your phone, you know, the first thing you do is act, you, you, you go to the computer and you look for your iPhone. Because is that the you first can thing have, you do? Well, of course. If I lose mine, the first thing I do is rant and scream and ra you know, <laughs> run around and <laughs> That's blame everyone. Do. And right. After I do all that stuff, then what do I do? <laughs> then you go, uh, because you've already activated Find My iPhone, which allows you to uh, GPS locate your phone wherever it is. And, and erase it? Uh, yes, and erase it. All the incriminating evidence? Uh-huh. And uh, But now, there, it turns out there's an exploit. Uh, that a thief could uh, enable and uh, they would be able to turn off find my iPhone therefore not allowing you to get access to it and see where they have stolen it so they have this video you can go just go to geeky.tv slash live 125 to see the video and uh, what they're doing to, to access that well, basically, uh, if you want to access it, first go to iCloud settings well, in the setting app, try and delete the account, it'll ask for a password, really? just put cancel, next cancel your iCloud account, enter a random wrong password, next in the description box, click delete iCloud, and then you're done, and then it'll kick you into iCloud settings, find the iPhone is now off, delete the iCloud account, now you can enter your iCloud account and take over the iDevice. That is That's what how I was you do trying it. to avoid. But That's how okay. you do it. Hey, John, isn't it funny Simple. That, that, they, <laughs> that Apple made an Apple I sto um, app store to make sure that no nefarious code Right. Would be released and all that, and it's their own operating system that is the culprit. Yep. <laughs> that is funny, Dave. All right. Do you see how funny that is? <laughs> Are you okay over there, John? <laughs> okay, it's time to go on to... Robots! Oh, brother. Are you excited or what, John? I don't know. Let's hear it. What we got this week? So you know RoboCop, right? Oh, I like RoboCop. You do? Well, because he's really not a robot, he's a human... He's like the Bionic Man. Yes. He's like the $6 million, you know, Steve, what was his name? Austin. Steve Austin. Yes. Well, now we have Telebot, which is basically the same thing. So, um, these guys at um, uh, uh, Discovery, this is, there was a Discovery Lab. It's actually been uh, $20,000 granted from a Navy lieutenant called uh, Jeremy Robbins. Basically, he was looking for a way to help uh, veterans who were wounded, law enforcement agents who were wounded, be able to still help and do their jobs. So they created a RoboCop. Uh, nice. He is a six-foot-tall little bot, and he weighs 75 pounds. Which and is pretty light for something that small. I know. I was, I was really surprised by that. So um, anyway, they they show him working it here, but they you have know a what's bunch cool? of sensors that you attach to you yourself, and they wear a helmet. And they wear an Oculus Rift. Yes. You wear an Oculus Rift, and you turn around, and you look, and you see it's, through its, its eyes, it's and it turns its head the same. It's basically a virtual reality game. You move your arm, it moves its arm. You move... Yes, exactly like that. Yeah, just those noises and everything. Yes, exactly like that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, it's very cool. Uh, I love to see this kind of thing in action, and maybe we will be seeing our law enforcement agencies using the Telebot from now on. Yeah. Who knows? What else we got? Um, 
Any Air little hopping. swarming nanobots that are going to eat our brains? No, not yet. Not today. Next okay. week, I actually have one that you're going to love. Oh, mm, great. <laughs> But for today, we are going to do air hockey. Okay, I like air hockey. With robots. I'm not sure you can win against a robot. This is uh, actually using, let's play it, a, it's using a 3D printer. Um, it, he's, he's built it from parts of a 3D printer. And uh, they have eye motion tracking. Holy crap. They use a PlayStation 3. Uh, and so he can... Trajectory prediction? Exactly. He can predict exactly where that, puck, uh, that puck is going and where it's coming towards him, you know? And How are you supposed can, to beat that? I, I don't know. I haven't seen it be beat. Definitely, With a hammer, that's how. Definitely a person can get beat by, by this thing. It is available for you to make your own if you would like. They have made the plans available online. So To be honest, Free that would be kind of cool. hockey robots. Like if you didn't have any friends and you just wanted to become the world champion at, you know, air hockey, you could build one of those and just play it for like 14 <laughs> years straight. Then go show up at a bar and be like, hey, I'll bet you 50 bucks I can kick your ass at this. I don't know, that's my theory and I'm sticking with it. What's next? Oh, it's cars, it's planes, trains, and automobiles time. You can come back on set now. Okay, let's see. This one you're gonna love. This one is, actually you're gonna hate this. This is not good at all, people. What? This is not good. Over in Bowling Green, Kentucky, they have been building Corvettes oh. in Bowling Green since 1981. That's the good news. The other good news is they have... That's the, how long I was... That's when I was born. It is indeed. The other good news is they have a National Corvette Museum there. They don't have the National Cali Museum there. Oh. We're building that one here. But <laughs> they do have the National Corvette Museum, or at least they did. What do you mean? What happened? Because steal it all? Wednesday morning, as in like 48 hours ago, a 40-foot sinkhole <gasps> opened up inside the Whoa. floor swallowing up a bunch of vets. Look at that. Holy crap. Wow. The bottom really fell out from under that one. Yeah. Oh, that one is upside down. So, oh, these are not in pristine condition so anymore. So this is they? like a little quadcopter video. They flew a little quadcopter down in there. Hey, that's smart because um, you can't go down there. And, uh, those are not toy vets. <laughs> they look like it kind of. Uh, that is wow. not a good, that is not good. Not good at all. So what's going to happen? Are they going to try and recover those and redo them? Uh, I think they're just going to fill. It? I think they're going to fill it in with water and turn it into a swimming hole. I don't know. What do you think they're going to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of filling things in with water and swimming in them, what would you do if you had a goldfish oh, that I, had I a? I usually kill them, so that would not be good. Wow, you're mean. <laughs> <laughs> what, if you, what would you do if you had a goldfish with a mobility problem? Your goldfish was mobility what? impaired. In other words, you your goldfish... It that's fins the doctor don't work? has something what? for that now. Though. I mean, it could only go anywhere inside of a fish tank. That's no good. Okay. Okay, so how about the engineers over at Studio Dip created this? It is a... It is a goldfish-driven oh. <laughs> fish tank. Wait, what do you mean goldfish-driven? I mean, if the goldfish wants yeah, to go in that, a certain direction, it goes. he swims over there, and the thing goes in that direction. <laughs> and when he wants to go the other direction, he swims the other direction. Well, what happens when he goes up to the surface? Does it fly? It bunny hops. Yeah, yeah, that's what it does. It's like the gerbil in the, in the ball, the hamster in the ball. Uh -huh. Oh, that is so cool. I Isn't love that, cool? that. Unfortunately, it kind of gives the little fish a... Hope you don't have a cat. Yeah. <laughs> it gives the fish kind of a false sense of, like, security, you know? But right. Like, oh, I could go anywhere now. Look at this. No, yeah. no. There are doors and walls. And, by the way, if you want to play a cruel joke on him, you put him at the top of the stairs. Oh. Anyway, that is it for today's uh, Planes, Joy. Trains, and Automobiles. <laughs> We'll be right back after this commercial break with I, nothing but unboxings. I am a horrible person. I can't stop laughing. Be right back.
back to the show. We've got so many unboxings for We you. thought we had a lot of boxes. And right during the commercial break, another one just arrived. Literally. We're not kidding, you guys. This box was just walked on the yes. set. We have no idea what's in Let's it. Let's get into it. It has my name on it. Yep. We'll so. do it. What's in it? <gasps> Ooh, what do you yay! got? The Audio Technica earbuds. You know, I've been collecting um, Bluetooth earbuds lately. How many ears do you have? Are, are these the Bluetooth I ones? Ears. I don't know. What are um, they? These are the Sonic Fuel. This that's a cool no, name. Um, yeah, it's, these are it's not the Bluetooth. The AT. Here, it's it called out. the ATHCKX Five IS. That's a long one. ATHCKX. Five I S. <laughs> these are these are not the Bluetooth yes. ones, um, but these, a, these are ones I really wanted to try. They look good. They are ear conforming, three hundred and sixty degree rotating ear tips. What? Oh my gosh, the um, ear tips rotate. Well, the C tip design fits the shape ear? of your ear. Inline mic volume control. <laughs> Wait, do you see that? So this little piece in here can oh, be yeah, moved around. Go. So that it fits, like, you know, yeah. So points you, down yeah, into your ear exactly hole. Exactly how you want it. It gets all up in your ear hole. Right. And it has this little um, thing that goes on top of your ear, like around your ear, and so that it stays in place. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It's very. <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave. Dave's calling dibs. All right. Dave what has else, all the earbuds. What else do we have? I don't know. I had, I, to, I, don't even... I had to go steal the earbuds that he stole from me and order, and then I had to go clean them off because, I don't even... man, were they dirty. Yeah. They've been soaking in that water for two weeks. <laughs> I don't even know which box to get. We've got so many. Small, small. medium, large. Small. Okay. Here's a small one. All right. That's what she said. What do we got there? All right, we have Magtron, a Galaxy S4 case. What? It's yellow. Magtron, Magtron. the Galaxy S4 wait, case. Is this, wait, wait a second. Look at this. It has a magnetic connector at the bottom. Okay, here. Well, this has some kind of little package. You see the magnetic Wow. Right there. Okay. Look at that. And then so, that plugs oh, cool. right in. Oh, look at that. How fancy is that? Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, Apple's gonna throw up. I know Apple's gonna sue them. <laughs> no, we invented the magnet. Uh, <laughs> so it's got a USB on one end, and it's got the uh, little mag two two little like two little magnets and four little contact tips. Yeah. So does that mean this thing even, I mean, doesn't just charge, but it even transfers data? I don't. And look at, look, it snaps into place perfectly. I know, it's perfectly. perfect. It's awesome. awesome. I love it. Okay, right. I've got a little S4 to try that yes. out on. That is really, really cool. How much is that, folks? Somebody yeah. look it up for us. Mag it's called the Magnetron? Magnetor Tron. Magnetor S4. Magnetor S4. How much is it, people? And please make one for my note. Well, I'm gonna grab this one right here. This one's next. Okay, you open it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, I know what this is. The boombox speaker. Let's see. This, Ten watts. That is the special super secret sauce. Wow. So you guys know we like to. We love little portable speakers. How can you not? They're awesome. And, uh, you know, we like the Bravens a lot, and we've heard some others that we like. But yeah. one thing that we have not yet seen is one of these tiny little ones that has 10 watts per channel. Ooh. So that's what this one does, supposedly. It looks okay. nice. And so here's, oh, this is interesting. It's a different size yeah. that we have seen before. This is right in it's between, kind of in between yeah. the giant ones and the small ones. Um, so it's kind of a mid-sized unit. And it's got, like we were saying, 10 watts per channel. It uses Bluetooth low energy 4.0, I guess. What else do we have? We've got a... 10 hours of uh, playing time. Uh-oh. Make and receive calls. We've what? got a USB port. Then there's something called aux. Oh. Is that input or output? Because uh. there's also a headphone jack and a power button. And then on top, we've got all the... We've got play... Oh, wait. Hang on. We've got play, pause, skip, all this stuff, but we've also got a button for like phone, like hang up, because it's I, I apparently a out. speaker phone as well. Do you think that's an auxiliary out? Oh no, it's aux in. It's aux in, and then headphone out. 
Yep. But the headphone out, I'll bet you, you could daisy chain these things. I bet you could take one and go out from the headphone here to the aux in on another and get like Possible. 10 of these and have 100 watts instead of just one. You always got up it. You gotta have always one gotta more. up it. All right, let's see. We're just gonna take whatever's closest. Here's another box. I wanted the other one. Okay, I'll get to the other. <laughs> Ooh, yay, yay, yay! Oh. All right, you guys know how we love our RAV power devices. This is you something have no very idea. new. Tell yeah. me about it. No, you tell me about it. <laughs> this. Tell about it. <laughs> no, you. No, you. Okay, this, this is, is a... the Dynamo on the go wireless charger. What did you say, John? I said it is a wireless what? slash charger. This is awesome. This... So it's a battery. It's a chi charger. Plug in your... No, it's a chi charger. Well, I know, but it's also a battery. No, it's a chi charger. Okay, yeah, John, it's both. Like That's right, it's both. It's both a chi charger and a battery. So cool. So this is where you would set your chi device, chi enabled device, like my Note 3, um, because I have a special thing in it, and you just or place it on 3. there, and it'll charge, or you could take it with you on the go and charge other devices via USB. Is cool. that not awesome or what? So if you guys have this? a, yeah, how much are these? They, they just came out. I mean, they just became available. And by folks. the way, the Magnetor S4 that we looked at earlier yep. is $50. 50 bucks? Okay, This the model number on this, are you ready, boys? RP-WCN11. How much does that cost? RP-WCN11. I cannot wait We're to gonna use, use this. We're going to use that with so our cool. little wireless chargers. Any 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 uh, Qi device. Yes. Uh, uh, there's many phones. Uh, now they're, they're, they're getting to be more and more phones and some tablets that can be charged wirelessly. So you just put them together and bingo, bango. Yeah. $56.99. All right. Battery and Qi charger. All right, here comes another one. Okay. I'll open it. Okay, go for it. What do we have here? Oh, Bilo. Bilo Digital. It's light. Usually they have headphones. What else do they make? Bubble wrap. What is that? Are those earbuds? They are sport earbuds. More earbuds. These are the BDH751 sport earbuds. Cool. Okay. And they're 59. Is that everything from Bilo is 59 bucks? I don't know. How much are, are these like guys? A, yeah, how much are these? I think that's right. BDH751. Are you going to read the features? Uh huh. Uh, so they have a custom moldable ear hook so that they stay on, hence the sport. So if you're moving around a lot, uh, they're lightweight. Uh, sounds like they have a, a good durable cable. Sweat resistant, three earbud sizes. Comes with a small, uh, soft travel pack and a 24 gold plated plug. 24 karat gold plated? Exactly. Oh look, I like this oh, kind of hooks. Oh, yeah. those are awesome. You see, they're moldable, so if you have an ear that's shaped like this, you can, <laughs> right. you can, uh, you know, you never know. Hey, don't, you know, don't be, some people have, uh, you know, no ears. Right. These so, look awesome. Yeah, but I like that they've got the little wire um, in there so that you can really hook it over yeah. there. And they yeah, do every feel piece of it is bendable. It's and got the soft touch coating on it, which yes, is nice I like as well. That. So we will have cool. to listen to them and check them out. But they're sport. Yes. So you can probably Take get them, them the all gym. sweaty and nasty and whatever. Yes, they are sweat resistant. Whatever you do. When you I do don't sweat. Out. I don't know what you're talking about. You John. don't sweat? Here's a box. It has not even been. The, nobody even took time to break the seal on this yeah, thing. Yeah, it has my name on it. It does have your name on it. Just saying. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you can open it. Okay. Got your name on it. Not like she doesn't open the ones that have my name on them. <laughs> we'll ignore that. What is that? Ah, it is the Simply Safe. Simply Safe. That. Okay, we knew this, this was coming. Is, whoa, look at this. This, Lots my friends, things. goodness gracious, this is an entire home security system. It is made by Simply Safe. S I M P L I safe. Okay. And, uh, so yeah, this is like you said a home security system. So we've got all sorts of pieces here. This um, is the base station. Together. I don't think we can open every box yeah, here. Yeah, we're not going to. But be able you can to. get that out. Get that one out. 
There we go. Ah. Oh. Okay, so. Well, listen to this. Quick here. tip. The base station uses a built-in micro cell phone to send your alarm signals to Simply Safe's monitoring huh. center. So I believe, if I if I remember correctly, that um, yeah, it's got a phone jack here, and I think you can plug that in and use your phone as like the primary. But it also has a wireless, you know, signal. I like as well. how easily these are labeled: smoke detector. Then you've got the uh, the 105 decibel wireless siren. You've got a keychain remote, motion sensors. It also entry had this sensor. thing. Oh ha! This is magnetized. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I want to push it because it says panic. <laughs> I, I, That's there's a good just, idea, John. I'm having a really hard time right now not hitting the panic button. Why would you want to panic? I, right. I always want to panic. <laughs> He's always panicking. Yeah, but I'm so panicky, you know. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get, get that. that set up and installed. What's next? Here's another All one. All right. And here's another one. We already unboxed this. Did we? <laughs> okay, oh, wait, then set it, it aside. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay, so we got two. We got two. <laughs> Yay! All right, what do we got here? Uh, oh, oh, I think you've been waiting for that one. These, Have yes, you? yes. Wow, we got a lot of um, guess earbuds what, people? Today. <laughs> More sport headphones. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just I so can't you get know, this unboxed. Uh, by the way, just so you know. The reason why we're getting all these headphones is because Callie has requested them because she's doing a headphone roundup. Because as you can see, there's a lot of them. Yes. And the question is, are any of them any good? Right. Should you buy them? And which ones should you buy for what so, occasion? Yeah, so I mean, as you know, we've done like, you know, reviews on certain ones from time to time, and I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys asking, well, what about this one? What about that one? So I, I've taken your requests, and I've gone out and asked for all of these coming in, and uh, we, like you said, we'll be doing a roundup here soon of what is the best. So this, will these come... And what they're, you know, which ones are good for which versions and different sports and all that. Those are Bluetooth. <laughs> these are Bluetooth. And so they're Bluetooth wireless headphones, ear, earbuds. So you stick them, stick it in one ear, and the cable kind of goes around, and you stick it in the other ear. So it's just two of them in your ear with a cable. I can't get it out. And then they also have. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. They also have. Oh, wow, that is wrapped around there. Uh -huh. Well, there, there you we go. go. There Thank you go. They also come in case you want to add them on. They come with the little uh, behind the ear hooks, and they come with some more replacement little yep. ear patty things. So they go like this, right there? Yeah, like that, one and around each side. And a little case, and a little USB connector Yay. for charging them, probably. Awesome. Awesome. So you can give those a try. And I like that I they have. I better hit the gym. They have a their, their, their sticker. Guess oh, what yeah. it is? Sasquatch. <laughs> I'm going to put that on my car. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? Here is another box. Okay. Uh oh. <gasps> Yay! It's whistle. All right. So actually, during CE Week, you guys might remember we did some interviews with a different company, but they're not out yet. Uh, the Fit Bar. Uh, so you might remember the concept at least. A activity tracker for your but not for puppy? you. But for your puppy, for your dogs, because, you know, we often forget how much activity the dogs need, right? So the um, the whistle is one of the first to market, and it, it goes on the dog collar, and it'll tell you how much activity maybe the, uh, the dog walker has given your dog that day, you know, those different things. Or if he's really sluggish that day, you might get him out a little bit more. So it's supposed to be light. Is it light? It's very light. Oh, wow. Super light. So that connects to... Ah, oh, that's for the charge. Here he is. There's a little clippy thing. Yeah. So it's rubberized, and I guess this thing goes... You put the clip around a, around a uh, collar or whatever. I'm sure you'll put this on my collar later. <laughs> we have random music and happening here yeah, in the Yeah, where's studio? that music coming from? Oh, that snaps on there. That's locked in. So that's it. You just do that. And it looks like yeah. this is a charger. Yeah. So I guess this has a battery in it. And when you want to, you just somehow get it off there. 
It is securely on there, I'll tell you that so right you now. So you track activity, monitor rest patterns. Uh, you can compare it to similar oh. dogs of, different, of the same size and the same breed. Oh, so um, now our dogs have to be competitive, right? <laughs> well, you know, that way you know kind of what a good average is. I thought that it was... And you could share the data with your vet. I thought the benefit of being a dog was that you could be lazy. <laughs> oh, you lazy dog. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. So we're going to be right testing now. it with... Oh, here. great. The, wow, what did you do to my dog? Great. With the robotic dog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Zoomer, oh, here he goes. Here goes Zoomer. Zoomer is trying to uh, escape. He's getting all frisky. All right, Zoomer, you As go. usual. You go. There you go. Okay, guess what our next package. Guess who our next package is from? That looks like Scotty Vest. Why, John? Scotty Vest. They just came out with a new... Uh, the dog is attacking me. <laughs> the dog is attacking me. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a couple of different things. Awesome. All right. Oh, that must be see. for you. Because it's a small, yes. And this must be for me. You know, the thing about this large. one, about yours, is that it uh, it actually folds up and weighs. Wow, it oh, is really, it's really like light. Really light. It weighs the equivalent of. And it feels really soft. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see. What is this one? Uh. Oh, this is the SEV pack jacket. Zipper. Adjustable hood, weight management system, fabric zipper pulls, exterior chest pocket times two, hand warmer pocket times two, machine washable, engineered with 13 pockets to carry all your essentials. Is this the one that has like 50,000 pockets in this one? <laughs> no, mine no, is mine. 13. I'm Hers talking about mine. More. Oh, look. Look. Here is where all the pockets are located. This is one cool thing about Scotty Vests, is they have a little map of where all the pockets are, so that while you're wearing it, you can be like, oh, damn it, where did I put that pocket? 42 pockets, the most ever made on a Scotty Vest. Check it out. As a removable hood. Nice. I would look like the Unabomber, except that <laughs> I'm sporting a blue one. <laughs> Blue hoodie. This is really, really light. But nice. you know what? The second I put it on, it actually became warm. Really? Nice. I'm, I'm gonna have to take it off. Cal, you look like you're ready to breach a room. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a good looking vest. Yeah, it is. I mean, really, honestly, that's a good looking vest. And it has 42 pockets! Okay. All right, we're you're getting down to other big stuff. So let's see what else we got here. You're gonna have to make room. Okay. Zoomer's gonna have to go. Zoomer, I apologize. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Uh oh. <gasps> Been waiting uh -oh. for this one. This, my friends, is the source of the first and only ever embargo breach <laughs> by anyone at GeekBeat. For, for eight and years. And it was me. Eight years we have had a, a perfect record of never breaking an embargo with a company. And an embargo, for those of you who don't know, is basically a date that you are allowed to start talking about a product because companies will tell us what's being announced ahead of schedule so that we can Because they prepare. trust us. <laughs> <laughs> so the Just folks at Acer, John. they sent us this press release about this product and I saw it and I said, that sounds pretty cool. I would love to get one of those in for review. They said, great, it's on its way. I said, great, I'm gonna also put your press release out. When can I do that? They said, do it at like 11 p.m. on such and such day. Right. So I wrote it all up and, and normally, we're supposed to allow Dave Peterson, who has the title editor-in-chief for a reason. Right. <laughs> We're supposed to let we him. We are not supposed to post anything. I'm to not the allowed to touch things. <laughs> well, I did, and guess what? Instead of uh, posting it at 11 p.m., I accidentally scheduled it for 11 a.m., and I violated the uh, embargo yes. by a full 12 hours. Well, we appreciated how sweet the Acer guys were about about what happened. Can you believe they total, still said it? Total misunderstanding, but I'm excited to see this. Okay, here's why this is cool. Uh, first of all, it's a couple reasons. One, you look at the box and you think, oh, that's like a normal projector. Right. No. no. Wow, that is good packaging. Look at that. 
Yeah, that's a nice bubble wrappy kind of thing. But this is the projector that's in tiny. here. That's what she said, <laughs> folks. You don't want to hear that on Valentine's Day, do you? <laughs> this is the size of the projector. How cool is that? that? Is it's cute. literally the size of it's the size of my hand. Okay. Nice. And and it looks good. It does look good. Yeah. But wait. Wow. There's more. The speakers go all the way around. The what goes all the way around? Speakers. Now Built you got it. Built-in speakers. Built-in speakers. Okay, look at the back here. What do we have? We've got a micro SD slot. We've got a USB slot, so you could plug in media and probably, I haven't played with it, I'm guessing now, that we could probably put like our movie or something on that, on a USB stick or a micro SD card, stick it in there, and then pull it up through the menu and hit play. And we get audio and video out of this. HDMI input port, audio input port. I don't know what the universal I.O. is for, but probably some kind of expandability. And so, uh, if I recall correctly from the press release, this has around 500 lumens or something. Uh, let me Five or it. 600. Anyway, it's reasonably bright. So you could pack this in its little case, carry it 700. Any, oh, 700. Wow. Take it anywhere you want. It's DLP, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's DLP. And 30,000 yes, hours of, uh, of lamp life. Yeah. So very, very cool. We're going to check that out, folks. We're going to run it through its, its paces NHL, and let you know nice. how it goes. Look, look at this. I don't remember the price on this. I, don't remember, guys, I think uh, it's like, yeah, I think it's about 600. Look, it's also got a little uh, tripod mount. <gasps> oh, good. You could set it on a tripod yes. in the middle of everything. That's brilliant. That is really cool. Is this, is this no, no, they have others, but that is like a... It's a, a portable. That's, that's the newest one with the audio and everything. Okay, I'm going to open this next one. Okay. But Dave is already going to call dibs on it. What? I already know. I, I can feel it in my okay. bones. Okay, all right, let's open it. This well, is actually, it's a pair. You want to open one and I'll sure. open one? Okay. Are they exactly the same? They are, I believe. The exact same. It's a little tall for me, John. Is it? It's probably going to be hard to get out of the box, too. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a box in there a box. Nah. Nah. What? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just... All right. This is the Rocket Powered 5. Yes. The new generation. These are studio, like, monitor grade speakers. Okay. These look awesome. Yes. Matt, it is, Open. It is good that I got Open the uh, got the big desk now. Yes, you have a big desk that will accommodate these. There you Not go. Not you're going to get them. <laughs> uh, well, we'll just open one. Okay. Because they are big. Yes, they are. Woo! <laughs> so these speakers are actually powered speakers. And if I recall correctly, they are bi-amplified. Yeah, let yeah. me see. That means... 25 for high, 75 for low. Okay, 25 Ooh, watts on the tweeter and 75 watts on the mid slash base unit. There we go. How about that? Looks nice. Let's see. What does it say? I like say? the little touch of yellow. All right. It says lightweight glass aramid composite woofer. And it's got a... Uh, yeah, bi amped class AB amplifier, low frequency adjustments. Okay, let's turn it around and check it. This is a port right here for the base, um, you know, to go out of there through the chamber. On the back, what do we got? We have a Power. high frequency level adjust. So that would be a cutoff for the high frequency. Okay. At, uh, uh, oh, no, it's just a plus, plus 1 dB down to minus 2 dB. Okay. And then. L freak low frequency level adjust so like we could turn up the bass and turn down the tweeter or, or vice versa volume we've got um, plus or minus uh, 30 dB minus plus 6 dB and we have three different audio source inputs RCA input a quarter inch input or an XLR input these are not Bluetooth no, they're not Bluetooth. They're powered. Yes, they are. Just to answer the are, questions coming in the chat room. Yeah, sorry. They're oh yeah, it has a power and there's a power switch. These, for the record, um, and someone fix the uh, television back there, please, real quick, Ken. Oh, oh yeah. Um, these are from Gibson. 
And these are actually like reference studio monitors. These nice. are meant to go into a studio like I have in here. Right. Right. So we put these, you know, like Dave will put these beside his editing station and he'll edit the video and he'll use his headphones when he's editing, but then he'll call us in to come check it out or he'll want to, you know, view it or whatever and he'll, he'll unplug his headphones and we'd listen to it through these things. So they're pretty awesome. Yes. We will do a review on those. Dave will let you know if they cut the mustard. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and Callie's going to be working in another part of the building, I can yeah, right. probably. Okay, one last big old box. Ooh. Steel Series Professional Gaming Gear. Nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow, we have headphones, we have... Holy is, mother! A keyboard. What is wow. that? And what is that, a little uh, game controller over there? Oh, this is awesome. Did wow. You, you put this, in? <laughs> this is Ken's. Ken had dibs on this before it even arrived. Let's see what we've got. we got three things. Now this one is the... This to me is very cool. Nice. Here you go. Don't cut I'm me. I'm not going to. Game. This is the Steel Series Stratus wireless gaming controller made for iPod, iPhone, and iPad. So it is literally a little joystick. That is cute. For your iP iPad or whatever. That's pretty cool. I, I, I would love to try that with mine. <laughs> I apparently cannot open packages today. <laughs> Do you need help? No. I'm like a woman. Gosh darn it, Give I me can roar. do this. <laughs> Meanwhile, wow, I've already got mouth? mine out. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, actually this feels pretty good. Check this out, it has rubberized edges. Nice. The edges are rubberized. It's very light. It's lighter than I thought it was going to be. Whoa. Yeah, that's very light. Okay, here. Thank you. It has uh, L2, uh, L1, L2. R1 and R2 buttons for your fingertip buttons up here. Just like a uh, PS3. I guess. Yeah. It's got a little button pad here and it's got two little, what do you call those, joysticks? And then four controllers there. USB charger, I guess it's got a battery in there and then a uh, looks like maybe a Bluetooth uh, sync button here. So that is really cool. How much do these cost, people? I don't oh, know. Oh, 99 well, bucks for the gamepad, Monty look says. Look at these headphones. Those these are, are actually gaming headphones. Wow. These are They're head gorgeous, deep actually. Duty. They are beautiful. Wow. Wow. They really look good. Ooh. Oh, my God. They Do, feel are good. they comfortable? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just be wearing these for the rest of my life. Uh, wow. Uh, is that USB? In nice. There? Oh, wait, what is this? I missed something. Is that a. There's actually a little oh, cover, a little cover for that it. snaps on the front of that thing. Oh, that is cool. So when you stick it in your bag, the buttons don't get all crushed and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's I can't great. believe I almost missed that. <laughs> okay. And then now, the keyboard. What is a person supposed to do with all those buttons? Uh, you, you, you type, John. Oh, okay. I did not know these things. So, let's check out this keyboard. This is the Apex Gaming Keyboard, people. So all of these MX, How much are the headphones? MX6. Uh, the headphones are $79.99 or uh, the no, joystick? No, the joystick the, probably. Those headphones have to be $300. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they have to be. Um, okay, this, what's this so, keyboard? Like $300 keyboard? What does that say? Active Zone Steel Illumination? Series a Apex. So Active Zone Illumination. illumination. Yes. Um, Wow, that is a serious, serious gaming keyboard. Over one trillion possible color combinations. Wow. So this, my friends, is the keyboard that you need if your goal in life is to crush everyone you know <laughs> at any kind of game possible. Would you look at that? It's got everything. So there's all these uh, dedicated arrow key buttons. You got a full number keypad here. And I'm assuming all of these MX buttons are programmable. Yeah, that's so this. you can make it what you want. Look, for there's whatever function game you're buttons, doing. and then there's other M1 through M12 above it. Yeah. Look at the size of that uh, space bar. Oh, that is awesome, actually. Oh, that is really cool. That's really cool. And then on the top, there's two more USB, uh, uh, so I guess it's a little USB hub. And look at the cable. The cord is nice. actually wrapped. Wow, that, was, that will last. In, uh, like, I don't know. 
Uh, oh, uh, so the chat room was asking about the headphones. They were the Steel Series Siberia Elite. That is a really cool keyboard. I have no idea. The That's problem, awesome. the problem with me and this keyboard, it would be wasted because I am so bad at, at PC games. Well, oh, you're bad at like shortcuts and everything. Everything. Yeah. I would be even with this keyboard, anyone could beat me. <laughs> okay, but I bet in the hands of a small Asian person, <laughs> this is lethal, my friends. I'm so we're so giving that a try. Let's see. Ken will do a full-on review of that, I am pretty sure. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. See, it's lethal. I told you it's lethal. All right, that's it for today. I've got uh, all my goodies I'm taking home tonight. Wow. Just more work for us to do all these reviews. So thanks for hanging out with us and watching the show, guys. I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. And we'll you know where to find week. us.